Hey guys, so I just wanted to take this opportunity, while we're all still here, to say goodbye to the old RuneScape, since it's my very last chance, since it is the, well it's 9pm on the 19th of November, and the EOC hits tomorrow. So I thought I would take the chance just to uh, share experiences with you guys, and I want to know what your fondest memories of the old combat system are. And I'm really bad at multitasking, so I apologise if I keep stuttering and stuff like that, because I'm trying to play at the same time. So, some of my fondest memories would obviously be killing Jad for the first time, killing Nomad after about five deaths. Oh god, that was a bitch. Uh, but I just feel like being nostalgic for a bit because I've always been a big supporter of change and I've always been insistent that, oh, we need change because otherwise we'll get bored. But I, you guys don't really see me being all nostalgic and getting the rose-tinted glasses out, so here's one of the rare opportunities that you'll get to see me being nostalgic and I'm going to go hand this task in. So I think the thing I'll miss most about the old combat system is simply the fact it'll always remind me of old times. The combat system, generally speaking, but not strictly speaking, it hasn't really changed since the beginning of RuneScape 2, and that's even before my time, and my account is just over 8 years old, so that's a really long time. I think RuneScape 2 is about 9 years old, but you might have to correct me on that. I think what draws a lot of people towards this game and makes them protective about the old combat system is sort of like it brings back memories for people like I've said and you know it's, the game's simple and simplicity is just really great in some cases if it's done well. I know what I liked about this game when I first played it was how simple it was to play, um, but yet how deep the game was as well, because there is so much to do in RuneScape. I mean, it's unbelievable the amount of stuff you can do, and yet it's easy and accessible for new players to get into, and I just find that quite fascinating, really. But for hardened veterans like some of you guys out there, and myself, change is sometimes needed in order to keep us interested in the long term. I don't necessarily have strict guidelines on what those changes should be, and I don't want to get into the d debate of whether the evolution of combat is the best solution or the best change for the game or not. But, like it or not, it's going to happen tomorrow, and you're just going to have to deal with it in your own way, whether it's quitting or just sucking it up and trying it anyway. I'm not going to lie, if the evolution of combat wasn't happening, I would probably have quit by now. I mean, even with the evolution of combat so close, I was already on the verge of quitting. But then it sort of brought me back into it, and I'm just going to pull out some gear so that I'm actually doing something. Uh, salve amulet. Uh, I'll do a bit of Strength training, I no, not strength. What am I going to train? I'm going to train defense since that's pretty important in the evolution of combat now. I have slagged off the evolution of combat a little bit, but the video that I did that in, I have now taken it down. And I basically said it felt like a bad version of games that I already play, such as Guild Wars 2. Um, I, need, I need to stop mentioning Guild Wars 2, but I just think it's a fantastic game. But yeah, um, I still uphold the opinion that the evolution of combat is better than what we already have now. Even if you don't like the whole mechanics of the abilities and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to teleport to Varrock. Okie dokie. Right, even if you don't like the whole abilities aspect of the evolution of combat, you can at least accept that a rebalance of the combat triangle was absolutely necessary, needed, essential to the life of the game in the long term. And that's exactly what we're going to get with this update. 
so you can at least appreciate that aspect of it. Plus, it, the ability bar is good for skilling as well. I mean, what's not to like about that? RuneScape, to me, has always been a great game for when it's... Like, when you feel like you want to accomplish something but don't really want to put that much effort into it. And that's kind of why I have most of the, what I like to call, lazy 99s. So, runecrafting, fletching, woodcutting, all these, you know. Uh, I have all of those because I'm lazy but I still want to accomplish something. So, I did those and that suited my needs. But what the great thing about this new combat system, well, for combat in particular, not necessarily skilling, is that... Um, sorry, I'll just pot up a second. There we go. Right. Now I can focus. You can put in as much effort and like attention as you want into the combat system, and depending on... The amount of effort that you do put in, auto retaliate please, thank you. If you put more attention and effort into learning this new system, you will be rewarded for that. Whereas in this current system, um, you don't really see that. Because like, I'm just sort of AFKing and I'd probably do the same amount of damage as someone who is paying attention to the zombies. And that's not really how it should be. Like. I think, anyway. I mean, you can still not pay much attention to the combat if you want in the new system. But you will be rewarded for paying more attention and actually actively engaging in combat. Don't get me wrong, though. Even in the current system, there's instances where you really have to pay attention. Such as Jads, if you're not using Gano, that is. Otherwise, it's just a walk in the park. But for the most part, the current system is just sort of click, then AFK for a bit, and you have little control over what's happening. And that's also another thing. Having control over a fight is so freaking important, and yet we don't have it in RuneScape very much. How many times have you been to a boss? Uh, let's just think of the Corporal Beast for a second. You're stabbing away with your Zami Spear, and you think, I wish there was something else I could do here other than just poke him with my stick. Uh, that kind of came out wrong. <laughs> but um, th this new system sort of promotes that. It promotes specialization and flexibility. And by that, I mean you can fight with a broader wa range, range of weapons and abilities and not be so harshly punished for it because if you tried to take down corporal beast with a let's just say a whip you wouldn't do very well so you, you pretty much have to use the zami spear in order to get good results but in the new system you can it's a bit more flexible bosses don't have specific weaknesses in most cases i believe so you have more leniency in what, what methods you can use and that's something we call variety, which is rare at the minute because we're all face rolling everything with rapiers and whips. Which is a shame, you know, I would like to have to whip out the mage and range a bit more often, but, um, you know, we haven't had that before very much. But now we're getting it, and I'm a big fan of that. Anyway, I don't want to drag this out for too long, so I'm sort of rambling a bit now. Just tell me what your favourite and most hated aspects of the old combat system are in the comments below. But also what you're most looking forward to or dreading excuse me, about the evolution of combat. If anyone gives a video response to this then you will get a cookie in real life from me sent in the mail. And it will be awesome because you have a cookie and cookies are nice anyway um i'll see you guys tomorrow probably when the evolution of combat hits interesting stuff indeed folks interesting indeed